Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another Fortnite news video anyways today we have a lot of news to talk about as patch 6.21 dropped today. Now if you guys are interested in all the other content regarding the patch such as patch notes or map changes or other changes that happen to the game you guys are more than welcome to check out those other videos. But for today, we're going to be talking about all the leaked skins. But before we get into that, I wanted to mention to you guys that you guys can use me as your supporter creator. So when you guys go to the item shop in the bottom right corner, there's a supporter creator button. And when you guys click on that and you guys put in the name All Out J, so my YouTube channel name, and click accept, I get 5% of all V-Bucks that you guys spent. Uh, it does not cause you to spend any more V-Bucks, but it's just a way to support me as a creator and then while you guys are just buying skins too. So it's not really a big deal. I understand if you guys are supporting other people, but besides that, there are timestamps in the comment section below in the pinned comment. You guys are more than welcome to click on it and it will take you to random parts of the video where you guys can see specific items themselves. And it's just a way to make life convenient for you because I understand that you guys don't want to deal with me talking the whole time. But for starters, we're going to get started now, and we're going to talk about the Spooky Team Leader, which is just basically another bear skin. It is an epic rarity, and its description reads, Find a Light and Fright. Now, it also has a Goody Gourd back bling, and it says Yum. Now, the whole item set itself is pretty alright, I would say. It's nothing too crazy. I personally don't think I'm a fan of it. You guys are more than welcome to share your opinion in the comment section below. We also have the Animal Jacket set, and it has Flapjacky as one of the first skins, and it's an epic rarity, and it says it loves pancakes almost as much as the Victory. Now, this is a female skin, if you guys can't already tell. It also comes with the Nibbles back bling, which is a little rabbit. A stuffed rabbit and its description reads stuff full of carrot also we have the growler skin which is the male alternative for the set it is an epic rarity too and then its description reads this good boy is not afraid to bare his teeth and then he has the back bling wolf's back bling which reads already housebroken now for the set we also have a glider called the poofy parasail and it's a rare rarity and it has the description puffed up and ready for landing it comes with two styles and the styles that are different is basically the little top of it, I would say. Uh, I'm not too sure what you want to call it. Uh, I guess the letters that are on top of the glider itself are the things that are different. It was hard for me to notice at first, but then I figured it out. Uh, we also have the Jack Spammer pickaxe that's a part of the set. It is an uncommon rarity, and its description reads, Swing it over and over and over and over and over and, and over. So pretty simple. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm really fascinated by the glider or the pickaxe. I'm more interested in the Flapjacky skin. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section below what you guys think of this whole set. Which skins you guys are interested in and whatnot. Also, we have the Western Warrior set, which features the Mayhem skin. And it had that is a rare rarity. It, and its description reads, Embrace the Destruction. It also comes with the Puncture Pack back bling. And it reads, Crusty and Musty. Pretty interesting stuff right there. They're getting creative with the word choice there, for sure. And... Also, we have the Ruckus skin, which is the male alternative, and it reads Rare Rarity, and it says Bring the Bedland. Now, it also comes with the Spike Chamber back bling, and then for the pickaxe for the set, it is called the Splinter Strike, and it is a Rare Rarity, and its description reads Pointy whichever way you point it. Also, we have the Junk Jet Glider, and its description reads It might just get you whenever you're go where where you're you okay. While well, we read that, it might just get you where you are going. Uh, so this whole set's alright, I would say. I like the Mayhem skin and the Ruckus skin specifically. Don't really care for the back blings too much. The pickaxe is kind of a ripoff of previous pickaxes, I feel like. And the glider's alright in all. Uh, but besides that, we'll move on to the counterattack set, which has the Reflex skin. And that is a rare rarity. And it is quick to react, first to retaliate. That is its description. It comes with the response unit back bling, And its description reads, send a message. Now we also have the instinct skin which reads rare rarity and its description is victory comes naturally. Uh, we also have the reaction tank back bling for it and its description is pressurized. Now they went with the simple route but I guess that is because you know of the, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. We also have the pivot glider for the set which reads prime the pivot with precision. We also have the angular axe pickaxe uncommon rarity and it's acutely obtuse. Uh, the glider for this set, by the way, was a rare rarity. Forgot to mention that. Also, we had the Shogun set. So now you can see that they're kind of getting back to their old ways with the old Asian skins that they made. The Shogun is a legendary rarity. Suited for the ultimate showdown is its description. It comes with the bladed wings of back... Oh, bladed wings. That's its back bling. And the wings with edge is its description. We also have the Jawblade pickaxe. And that is description reads... 
punch victory between your teeth. We have the Kabuto Glider, which is sharp enough to cut through air. Pretty interesting stuff if you guys uh, get my drift right there. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the set personally. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you guys think. Now, the Jawblade Pickaxe is a rare item itself. We also have the Kabuto Glider, which is rare too. So nothing too crazy that's happening in regards to them. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the set. You guys can tell me what you guys think. Besides that, we have the Yeehaw skin, which is an epic rarity, and it's an alternative to the Giddy Up skin. And its description reads, Giddy Up. I don't know, pretty simple, right? Uh, we also have the Little Kev back bling, which says, loves to play in the lake. And we believe this is obtained through challenges, it seems like, as there are challenges for it, where it says get XP, uh, you have to outlive opponents, and then also play a certain amount of matches. Now, we don't know how, how many people you have to outlive, how many matches you have to play, but from the XP standpoint, you you, you have to get at least 5,000 XP for it. And, I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys think about it. We also have the Crazy Feet emote, which is Wild and Crazy Feet. It's a rare emote. And yeah, it's a pretty decent emote. You can see when it dances that the floor changes colors wherever the foot taps, and that's basically it. Uh, so you guys can tell me what you guys think of everything in the comment section below. I would love to interact with you guys, see what you guys think of everything. Personally, I'm only a fan of the Animal Jacket set and the Western Warrior set. The Shogun set is kind of meh. The Counter Attack set is alright, not really my thing. Uh, the Little Kev back bling is alright. I mean, I think it's just a meme at this point. And then the Yeehaw skin, probably don't care for it since I have the Giddy Up skin. And the Crazy Efo crazy feet emote is all right i don't know you guys tell me in the comment section below what you guys think of everything i would love to interact with you guys don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what you guys think of everything and then don't forget to hit that sub button that way you guys can stay up to date with me and don't forget to check out all the other videos on the channel but yeah that is it thank you guys for watching have a great rest of the day Bye bye